What's up guys? This is Daniel and welcome to episode 6 of this Watford series. We're going to start out this episode against Middlesbrough and we are right now currently on a four game win streak, three game league win streak and a one game league cup win streak making it a four game win streak if any of you are good at math but you see Sordell there with a good run. He comes up here and he gets fouled for the penalty. Wait, wait, what? No. How do you not call that ref? So I was kind of mad about this, but as you can tell here, it kind of looks like Sordell takes the flop. Um, I don't see Bennett, I think that is. I don't see him touching <laughs> Sordell anywhere, but he just kind of falls over, which is a little bit upsetting, but we'll get back here. This is what I like to do. Um, you see here, I hold up the ball, make have my players make runs, and look at this. Sordell cuts inside, and that's just some very nice one-touch passes leading up to a goal by Sordell. Puts me up 1-0 showing off his acrobatic skills at the same time. And we'll move ahead here into the 6th to 7th minute. We get some nice ball work here. Sordell's going to try to keep this around the top of the D, move around, wait for someone to make a run, and he finds Vyman on the side. He tries to chip the ball back over to him. But Vyman also wins the header back to Sordell. He puts it away 2 to nil, And once again, Sordell is just controlling everything, doing front flips over the keeper. <laughs> but, um, I mean, that's just a reoccurring theme here. You know, Sordell comes away, gives us the win, but guys, we'll move on here, and I'm going to try to do something new here. I'm going to go to my youth academy and go to a scouting network, and I'm going to hire Lewis Smallwood, so <laughs> quite quite the last name there, but I'm going to hire him, and what I've heard is that if you place a scout into the country that they are from, typically they do a better job of scouting, which would, I guess, kind of make sense in real life. Um, you, got, you know you know the terrain, you know where to look. So I'm going to try this out, and hopefully we can land a couple players to put in my youth academy, maybe bring up later, and hopefully add a little twist to the to my little quest here to get to the top of the premiership. Um, still got, a, obviously, a long ways to go, but you know any, any new players really, really help. So hopefully that will land me a good player, and we move on here. League Cup versus Sunderland. So this is going to be a quite a test for me. I haven't played a um, Premiership team yet. But we'll start it off with Sunderland. And like I said, I need to win the League Cup. I need to win these tournaments in order to get more revenue, in order to buy more players, in order to move up. It's kind of, you know, a ladder process there. But anyways, I noticed my players, they were, for some reason, they were covering their butts. And I didn't know why. Um, it is just really weird. And then all of a sudden I knew. Titus Bramble, he comes in for Sunderland. I thought he was suspended, but no. Um, sexual assault, assault charges may have been dropped. And you know what? The pace of this game changed quickly in Sunderland's favor. And <laughs> we're going to find a cross here. Asamoa Gion with the header. Loach tries to save it, but I go down 1-0. to nil. But... <laughs> so sorry, I had to go off on a little tangent on Titus Bramble there. But anyways, this is what I like about my team, though. It seems like... After, after they score, I, I seem to be coming back a lot after and scoring the next, you know, 5-10 minutes. It seems like the momentum doesn't change that much unless they get two quick goals. So, you see Sordell, what are we going to do? The defender kind of slips there, maybe in the rain. You know, if you give him space to turn, he's going to finish it every time. And his weak foot's gotten a lot better. Puts it uh, puts it out of draw as we stand here. But 58th minute, Asimo Gian again finds his way to the penalty spot, hits it home. And that puts me down 2-1, to one, and that is what ended the game. So that's a big hit to me. Um, you know what? I mean, it sucks because, you know, I'm not going to be getting revenue from this tournament anymore. But uh, we'll have to move on and continue with our league matches because that's really that's really the basis of this of this series right here is to, to win the Empire Championship outright and to move up into the Premiership and then make a dent in there, hopefully changing what people know about Watford. So... Anyways, once again, someone gives Sword out a time to turn. <laughs> he just goes flying. Um, what? What's this? I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. Enough. Okay. Sorry, I had to do that. <laughs> he goes flying. So that's the second time that Sordell has been thrown down. But that was actually legit penalty. And he, you know, what? I'll give him that. And he's gonna put that one home. So we will skip ahead here to the 42nd minute where McGinn's going down the wing. He's going to try to find Vyman here, but it's going to be intercepted by the defender who tries to clear it. I get a one touch back right into the danger area. Once again, Sordell given time to turn and he's going to finish that. Puts me up two to nil and 
once again here. I don't, I don't know what it is, but I, I feel like the teams are gunning for Sordell. Third time he gets tackled. But he's a strong player. He's going to stay in there. And Now, this is the moment I've been waiting for. This is the first real chance I've got outside the box to actually have a nice free kick. So, you see here, Marcos Asunchao. Someone told me how to pronounce that in the comments. Thank you very much. Um, I probably still butchered it. But anyways, I'm going to give him the shot to come in here. He gets tired really easily, so I have to switch him out about every game. But he's going to take this free kick, bend it around the wall, and it goes into the t lower right-hand corner. Blah, blah, I stuttered there. <laughs> but you know what? This is this is a good sign because not only I don't really have to start him, so opportunities like this late in the game I can bring him in, especially in crunch time situations where I need to get a goal. But that there was just a little test, and he passed. So win there 3-0 against Portsmouth, and... Now we will move on to the league tables in which I am still in second place behind West Ham. <laughs> so anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'm making progress, although I'm still two points behind West Ham. And you know what? We will move up. Only nine games played. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. If you are, please leave a like. It helped out immensely. And guys, I mean, last episode, I think I had like 280 likes and zero dislikes, which is just absolutely crazy. So I thank you guys for that. Anyways. Once again, hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will talk to you guys next episode.